Hey guys, it's Brand Flag Apps, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a web browser. And this is very simple. All you do is drag and drop, and it's it's pretty easy. Um, so let's get started. So open up Xcode, go to File, New Project, and under the Applications window of the Mac OS X, because it's going to be a Mac OS X application, not an iPhone application, and you want to click on the Coco. Cocoa application and click choose and let's just call it web the save so here you go same pretty much format for the the Mac OS X applications so first you want to go to the actions like the little gear thing with the arrow and click add existing frameworks it should, should get this pop down menu and you want to scroll down all the way to the end uh, uh oh no I got the spinning ball there we go you want to scroll down to the webkit.framework and click add and click add again and as you see there it is now you want to go to the nib files and click on main menu.xip and minimize that xcode And there's an interface builder. Might take a while. So yeah, this is um this is a web browser, but it's not as good as Safari or anything because it's like kind of laggy and everything. But um, so uh, I want to use it that like frequently, frequently and stuff like that. Oh my gosh! Come on. Um. All right, here we go. All right, so here we go. You have your window. This is gonna be. I guess it's gonna be that big. And you wanted to go to um your go to uh, tools library to get this library of objects, and you want to type get the web view and go type in web. Of you and here it is. So you want to drag that into your project, stretch it out, stretch. There we go. And now you want to get a text field. Text field. There's there it is. Drag that in there. It's gonna be like your option, like to find everything. And and here I would go to the go to the placeholder holder and go http that thing forward slash forward slash and that would be its placeholder. So uh, you don't have to type that in every time. Or no, it'll be its title. Http. So there you go. There it is. All right. And um, so now what you want to do is go back to your library and type in button button. You can pick any button you really want. Like here, I drag in this one and make a plus sign. That's fine. And make like minus sign. And you might want to drag in like no, let's like drag in that button I guess and go back. This is all like spread out. It's gonna be in bad order and everything. Um. Uh, that's fine. And so I mean, it's not gonna be like really. You could spend like somewhat time just organizing it and stuff like that and you could print and you could actually print on this a print button and everything and I think that's it alright and you could like go to this and you could make any button you want like the image and you just like they give you pre images like that they go that way and see if you see it yeah, see, they they just give you like pre images and like users and stuff. But I'm just gonna delete it and go print. 
So, I mean, you could get creative with it, whatever you want to do. So, now you want to go to, uh, alright, so you want to go left click, wait a minute, left click, and drag down to the web view, and click on, oh, uh, wait a minute, you want to go to text, there you go, make text smaller, make text smaller, there it is, and make text larger and print goes to print and forward goes to ooh, where's the forward go forward and back goes to back and this goes to um uh take string URL from and you click on that one and that's pretty much all the code you really need that is it you could go file save it quit it go back into the X the Xcode project and click build and run and that's all you have to do no codes involved because the codes a little bit different to make applications for the Mac it's so it's a little bit trickier and stuff like that but this is just easy drag and drop you can be creative whatever you do stuff like that so it'll load oh yeah and um the, if you saw that like drop down menu I'll, I'll go back to it I'll show you guys later so here it is here's your well window and you could go to www.brandflakeapps.com Com. and here's my web page but if you, you should just make that bigger than whatever you want to do really and you that could go or you could go to uh oh http google dot com and or you, yeah and then you, you could just do like you you to and then YouTube pops up and you click it. I mean, it's go. Uh oh, yeah. Whatever you really want to do with it, it's fun. And if you go back to your main menu, if it'll load again faster. All right. Well, all right. Here we go. Thank gosh. All right. So right here, you could um. It will say your name, and you could say about like web or something like that. You can rename everything, and in um, I believe it's in it's in the menu. Oh wait a minute. Um, well, no, you could just mess around, whatever you want to do with it. But that's pretty much it, and you could. And you can just mess around with it and stuff like that. Just, I mean, it just takes time to make it look good and everything. And oh yeah, and then quit. And then you could go build, go. Here it is again. And you could go to Google. dot com. You could zoom in, zoom out, whatever you really want to do. So it's it's fun. You could print it. And the print thing will come up, but it takes some time because my computer's not that fast because I made it do a lot of other weird, weird things. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, well. All right. Well, that's my whole entire tutorial. Um, please subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching. See ya.